Good morning. It's Christmas Eve, and it's uh, Buckle Eye Day. Uh, for some of you, uh, you know, when you hear the word Buckle Eye, you think of something that <laughs> smells uh, pretty nasty. Uh, buckle Eye does have a pretty strong odor. Uh, comes salted, comes dry and salted, and uh, the object is to get the salt out of it and get the stink out of it, so that you could flavor it and have something that uh, people they stand in line for over here. So uh, I hope I can show you some of this, and uh, this is Buckle Out 101, baby. Don't get no better than this. Okay, so we got Buckle Out. I line my pizza tins. You don't want that funky stuff, you know. Let's face it, uh, a lot of cooking means a lot of dishes. So uh, the easier you can make it on yourself, uh, it's your Christmas too. Go for it. Do a little paprika. Just real lightly, real lightly. Give a nice little color. Nice and festive. My mother was all about the color. You know, a red pepper and a green pepper was part of Christmas. Otherwise, uh, it, it got in line before snow even. I got it all peppered it up. It's going under the broiler for about 10 minutes. Get some of that fluid out of it, some of that skink. I got some fresh garlic. Our grocer sells it to us just like this. It's all vacuum. It's cleaned, but it's not minced. It's not in a jar and it's not in oil. Um, fresh garlic, two packages in my chopper, and then I'm going to make minced meat out of this. Chop it up nice and fine. I like to use a spatula to get this stuff out of here. I'm going to put it in a little sauce pot because we're going to make a juice for our buckle on. That's what really is going to give it some nice flavor. It's all about the lemon when you cook fish for me. Okay, saucepan, garlic, extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna make a juice. Gotta make a juice for uh, to cover up. We're gonna saute this very lightly just to bring all the flavors together. And then uh, we're gonna take our uh, fish, put it in a casserole dish. Pour this over it, cover it, and bake it. Red pepper. I didn't. Uh, I don't put this on the stove purposely because um, I don't want it to uh, to get browned. I don't want the garlic browned. I want it. I want it to come together on the fish, not inside the oil as much. I do some parsley for color. There's that Christmas color again. See, the, so the green and the red pepper brought it all together. That's it. I'm going to put this on the stove for a couple minutes to make it come together. I'm just taking this out of the oven. You can't see here, but there's a big collection of the juice and stuff that came out of the fish. You don't want it all to come out because you don't want it to be dried out. So what we're going to try to do here is make uh, portion size pieces. Go through with a sharp knife. See, by cooking it, it gives you an opportunity to slice through it without it all tearing and shredding the meat up. And I'm telling you, this don't smell like like any bad buckle I've ever had. By Gumbadi Sal, uh, Sam. Sam, if you're listening, I know how paranoid you are about a bad buckle I. But I gotta tell you what. My fingers are gonna smell so happy when I'm done with this buckle I that you're not even gonna imagine how good it's gonna be. This is like my favorite stuff in here. We eat it. Well, we got our buckle out ready to go here. I've got my garlic and oil sauce here all put together. And I'm just going to pour this all over this fish. It's madly in love with this garlic and oil sauce. Take some fresh lemon and just make it. Make it juicy with lemon juice. Lemon juice uh, helps the olive oil uh, thin itself out so it's, uh, it doesn't gag you to eat it. And that's the cool thing about this is that once it comes out I garnish it with some fresh lemon. Once it comes out of the oven and uh, it's had a chance we're going to cover this with foil so we can get it to, uh, to steam. We're going to bake this for about 
35 minutes on 350. And it's going to kind of steam cook it the rest of the way. But all the juices are all going to come together. And then the juice that's in here will actually come up a little bit higher. But it's a, it's a, you don't want to overcook it. Um, you don't want it to be dry. And I got to tell you, this is, um, I never, I never met a buckle I didn't like Sam. <laughs> like when body Sam. He never met a he never met a buckle I didn't like. So that's it. I'm gonna bake it, and then it's gonna be happy. And then in a little bit, we're gonna see what excellent buckle out looks like. Stay tuned. There's buckle I. That's what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. There's a lot of juice there. So I take my buckle and I plate it, and I take some schmelt and some calamari, and I spoon the juice on it, and uh, it's a happy time. Merry Christmas. That's uh, all about buckle for me. Signing off. Merry Christmas.